In this video, we will learn about static variables. As we know, instance variables determine the state of an object. When a student joins school, an ID card is assigned to a student. The ID card is given a roll number. A roll number belongs to an ID card object. Suppose we want to assign roll numbers sequentially. The first ID card gets roll number 1001, next gets 1002 and so on. For this, we will need to store the last assigned roll number. What if we declare an instance variable last assigned roll num in the ID card class? If we do this, each object of the ID card will store its own value for the last assigned roll num. What we need is a variable that has a single value across all ID cards, something like a global variable. That means we need a class variable instead of an instance variable. We can easily achieve this in Java by declaring the variable as a class variable by using the keyword static. Static variables belong to a class and not to an instance of the class. Each object of ID card has its own copy of the roll number, name and grade variables. But there is only a single copy of last assigned roll num variable. Now let's modify the program to assign roll numbers sequentially. Let's define a constructor for the ID card class. It increments the last assigned roll num and assigns it to the roll number. When the first student joins, an ID card object is created. The last assigned roll num value is picked from the class, incremented and assigned to the student. So, the first student gets roll number 1001. For the next student, again the last value is picked, incremented and assigned. Thus, each student gets assigned a roll number that is next in line. Now, suppose we want to access the value of last assigned roll num from outside the class. For example, a class student record wants to check the value of the last assigned roll number. We access instance variables using an object reference variable. Since a static variable does not belong to an object, we do not need an object reference variable to access its value. A static variable is accessed directly from the class. Static variables are commonly used for defining constants as well. Constants are values that cannot be changed once initialized. For example, we want to define a constant value for the minimum attendance of a student. We would not like every object of ID card to keep a copy of this variable, so we can define it as a static and final variable. Final keyword indicates that the value once assigned to a variable cannot be changed. Thus, min attendance is a class variable with a value that can never be changed. Let's recap. In this video, we learned about static variables. Static variables are those that belong to a class and not to an instance of the class. A variable is declared static by using the keyword static. There is a single copy of the static variable for the class. Each object of the class does not get its own copy. Since a static variable does not belong to an object, we do not need an object reference variable to access its value. A static variable is accessed directly from the class. Static and final variables are used to define constant values.